Hi, welcome to the bench. I'm going to be walking you through the Skywalker Mini build in this case. Um, what I've seen is that there's very little documentation with this airplane. There's no videos of a walkthrough on how to build it. Um, there's a lot of build videos, but they're all kind of showing off what they've built, not how to build it. Um, since I'm a newbie, I don't know how to build this airplane. I'm going to have to learn. The best way to learn, as far as I'm concerned, is by doing. Um, but I'm also going to put up this video so that any of the mistakes I make, and as I learn from them, you guys can learn as well. And uh, so yeah, I would figure I would put this on the internet just to see how it goes. So let's introduce you to the parts of the uh, Skywalker first in this video. And then in later videos, I'll talk about how I'm going to build it. So first, this is the fuselage. Um, the fuselage comes in two parts. There's a, um, a support brace in the middle. On the one side, external to the fuselage, is a little support for a push rod this, and a push rod that's built in into it. This push rod is going to be for the rudder control. Okay, so that's the fuselage. Here's the wing. The wing is going to also have a support rod in it. Um, it's going to sit on top of the fuselage and it has a pusher motor mount right in the back here. This is the tail plane. Um, the whole back surface here is going to be the elevator and it's going to attach to the horizontal stabilizer through here. Then as far as foam parts go, this is the canopy. It's going to fit into place here after you put your electronics in the side. Other things that come with the Skywalker, um, there's glue. I don't know what type of glue this is, but it's nice and soft. So I think I'll try to use this glue. Otherwise, if this doesn't seem to be working with it, I'll do a combination of hot glue and uh, foam safe CA. There's this cable here. This is a Y cable for the ailerons. There'll be one aileron input from the uh, the receiver, but you'll have two servos, one for each wing. And so this is a Y splitter from the uh, receiver to the aileron uh, servos. These are the control horns for the four different control surfaces, the rudder, the elevator, and the left and right ailerons. They have three holes in them. As you can see there. Um, I'm not sure which one we'll be using. I think it's the farthest one out, but we will see. I showed you the push rod in the fuselage for the rudder. There's an additional three push rods for the elevator the left and the right ailerons. They're all the same length, I believe, so I don't think it matters which one we'll use in which location. There's also a wooden uh, piece for the motor mount. We'll have to drill some holes on to attach our motor to, and then we'll glue this onto the back of the wing. There's these plastic spars. These are going to go into the fuselage here and here. And they'll be used to hold the rubber bands that'll hold on the wings. So in addition, there's four rubber bands and they'll go over the dowel here, across the wing and onto this spot side. So there's four rubber bands in addition to two plastic rods 
in order to hold the wings onto the fuselage. Finally, there's a magnet, a little uh, plate, and a couple of screws. These will be used to hold the canopy in place. So the magnet's going to go in the back. The metal plate's going to be screwed into here. And then that'll snap that into place and hold it down. This Skywalker is uh, a kit. It doesn't include any of the electronics, so I had to go and purchase them separately. So I'll go through the electronics that I did get and the rest of the system. First, let's start with the propeller. This is a 5x3 propeller. We're going to need a push propeller, and I believe this is the correct one. It has a little R right here. So it's 5x3R. Um, I have these in both directions, so if this isn't correct, I will use the other one. Attaching to the propeller is the motor. This is a Turnagy Park 250. It's got a 2050 kV. Um, it's going to attach to the back of the uh, wings here. And then the propeller is going to be attached here, and I'm going to use these bits as a prop saver. Don't really need the prop saver, but it's the easiest way to connect this motor, I think. After the motor comes the ESC. And here's my ESC. It's a Turnkey Plush 12 amp. Um, it produces a uh, 2 amp 5 volt. Uh, BEC electrical signal so to power the uh, receiver this is the receiver um, really what you need is a uh, four channel receiver that will work with your uh, transmitter my transmitter is a Futaba and this is one that will work a cheap light one that will work with my Futaba Then I have four uh, servos. This is a, uh, the servos are all the same. I'm using Eternity 1440s. Uh, they also need little control levers, and we're going to have to place them so that they're at a 90 degree, and we'll go through that process. One of the uh, servos, the uh, elevator servo is quite far from the receiver so I have this extension cable to run down the length of the body um, this is just a servo extension that I made out of, um, out of one that was too short um, this is actually exactly the length of two servo uh, extensions put together This is the rubber band that I'm going to use to hold the propeller into place. And then the final bit is going to be the battery. And this is a Nanotech 1000 uh, 1, milliamp hour 25C battery. That should be the components that we'll be using in future videos. I'll discuss how to set things up, um, put it together, and then finally take it out to fly. I think video two is going to be working with the outside. Um, I'm going to first try to place everything onto the airplane, see if I can fit it all together. And once I have it all fitting together, I'll put on decals. Then I'll put it together and uh, see how it works. All right, thanks for watching.